to another video. If you're new here, my name is Natasha, and on this channel we talk about pantry preparedness, emergency preparedness, everything on a budget though. Um, so my husband and I are both medically retired disabled veterans, and so we are working on fixed income while raising a family. We do homeschool our younger two children, and today's video we are going to do a mini haul. I'm going to show you what I got from the Dollar Tree and all of these items are for our kids entertainment, emergency preps for when the power goes out or if we need to bug out. All of these items are things that don't include batteries. They are portable, they're lightweight, um, and they can pick and choose or mix and match if we did have to bug out. But these are all just really good cheap items that you can include into your buckets for kids entertainment. So I'm gonna bring you guys down and I'm going to show you everything that we got. We spent about $35, but there was a couple items in there that were items that I picked up. So I would say we spent around 20, 25-ish um, on these items. So not bad for items that we may use or may not use or will come in handy if the time comes, anything to keep my little ones entertained. So one of the first things that I saw that I picked up first were these little game boards. And so these essentially are all made out of like cardboard slash paper. Um, there is a little bit of assembly required, but they are just like nice lightweight games that both of my kids will be able to play. So we got Guess Who, they had Battleship, they had Trouble, and then they had Monopoly. So these are wonderful, even if you're doing like car trips or um, to slide into backpacks. I just thought that having everything here, I know that our actual Monopoly game pieces may be all around the house. So these are perfect in an emergency situation that I know all the pieces are in here still. So. Those were a good find, $1.25 each. Can't beat that for those. The next thing that we picked up were some easy puzzles. These were also $1.25 each. And so I got my son the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle one. And then Xylee, my daughter, picked up the Disney Princess ones. And then I'm not going to lie, this one was for me. Because <laughs> I love the Little Mermaid. So those were... Nice little easy packs. Should keep them entertained for a little while since they have 500 pieces for the, these two. And then this one for my little man has 100 pieces. That'll be perfect for him. So the other thing I got was this little wind up fishing game. It doesn't need any batteries or anything. So I thought that that was kind of nice. Just something that somebody can just sit down and quietly do or go back and forth and play together. I thought that was just a cool little game piece to pick up. And then of course we did get some little crafting type things, decorate your own birdhouse. Um, we got two sets of those. These would also be great for spring break projects as well. If you've got your kids home for spring break, these would be perfect little crafting kits to keep them entertained. Grabbed a two pack of a deck of cards. There's so many games that you could play with this. Um, Go Fish would be a nice basic one for kids. You could play matching. So that was a good find as well. Um, Xylee picked up this little puppy in my pocket. I'm assuming this is what you want to open up now, huh? I know. Like, they were out of kitty in my pocket, so that was the only one that was in the kitty box for no reason. Okay, so that one she's going to take out of the, the preps. <laughs> I also found these little jerkies. These were $1.25 each, and I think that that's a really good deal for these. Um, they're 50 calories each, and the Best Buy is $20.25. So these I can add in the same box and have a snack while they're playing their games. So I thought that those were really good. I picked up a couple different brands because I know... Luke prefers these ones. I prefer the sweet and hot. And then the kids probably would go for these ones. So, And then the next thing I got were these little pop-outs. 
that you can color and play with. So I got my little man Ninja Turtles. You can see the theme for him. And then I got Xylee, this little puppy thingy-majiggy one. Puppy unicorns, I guess that's what those are. And then I did also pick up a 60 second digital thermometer that I'm just going to add into this box um, just for the heck of it. This is $1.25 too. Definitely want to have a couple of these on hand. I've noticed that recently a lot of them do not last as long. Um, so pick up a cheap one, have it as a backup. But that is our little haul for kids entertainment. I hope you guys got some good ideas. Definitely these were a really good find. I have never seen these before like this. So these were definitely a good find. Of course, puzzles can't go wrong there and snacks can't go wrong there either. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you are new. I will see you in the next one.